You see guys, in life there is um, some mistakes that we do that shape our lives um, in a very negative way. One of those big mistakes that we make in our lives is staying in a fake or abusive relationship. A lot of people don't understand that relationship is not a life and death affair. Whether it is a relationship that is defined by love, relationship that is defined by career, relationship that is defined by blood, any kind of relationship that you are entering into must bring you peace. But you see, most of us stay in relationships that are so abusive, relationships that are so toxic, fake relationships, meaningless relationships for quite a long time until when you have been completely finished or completely damaged, completely deformed to an extent where you cannot get yourself back. That's when people leave. People leave when even finding a healing becomes a problem. People leave when they cannot breathe. People leave when they cannot get back into such a relationship again. When they leave, they swear they will never love again. When they leave, they swear they will never get employed again. When they leave, they swear they will never see their families again. A relationship is not life and death. When you feel it is pushing you to the wall, you have a right to stop and question yourself. What is the correct direction? What should I do? Where should I follow? This is the time that you need professionals to help you to digest the meaning of a kind of relationship you are having so that you can make an informed and correct decision for your life. Another mistake that people make is trying to please people. People think that it is okay to twist your beliefs, it is okay to sacrifice some of the things that you believe in, sacrifice your time, sacrifice your energy, sacrifice even your finances, sacrifice even your food, sacrifice your pleasure, sacrifice your everything that you have or something very important in your life just to make some people or someone else happy. You reject your own beliefs to fit into someone else's belief. And you think that that is okay because there is something you're getting from them. There is nothing as important as what you believe in. There is nothing as important as the things that you need to give to yourself. No one and nothing is important than yourself. So trying to fit into other people's shoes by denying yourself what you're supposed to get by denying yourself your peace, by denying yourself whatever you're supposed to be getting that is relevant to your needs is one thing that is going to confuse you and it will destroy you with time. A very difficult point here is we have a lot of young people and this generation where we are that are really struggling to make their parents happy. In a disclaimer, making your parents happy is a good thing. But you see, we suffer and at times we miss opportunities because of not understanding what we stand for. Not taking time to learn and to come to terms with what we believe in. Parents may want you to go this way. But life and your stars are meant to go this other way. As a person, an adult, you must understand yourself. You must understand your passion. You must understand where you want to go. You don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a military guy. You don't have to be an engineer. You don't have to be a clinical officer. You don't have to be a teacher. But you have to be the right person that you are, yourself.
Because most of the people, and especially our generation, pleased their parents, made their parents happy. They never took time to listen to their inner self, to find what exactly they are meant to be. They became what their parents wanted them to be. And it's making them to suffer today. It's a mistake that people must avoid. And it is never too late to change and start doing things the right way and find your path and find your passion and do what you're supposed to do to become the person that you are supposed to becoming. The last point that is very important today, when you see failure coming from left side, you turn to your right side and you run away from it. When you feel like if I try here, I'll be rejected. You stop, you don't try. When you feel like, you know, if maybe I try to walk here, I will slip and fall down. But you can see that if you walk here, there's a dam on somewhere there that is for free for pickup. But because it has rained and it's wet and the road is so narrow, you say that, no, I'll not attempt it because I'll fall down and I might injure myself. This is the truth. So many of us miss opportunities because of the fear of rejection and fear of failure. But the truth is, people make small steps from those rejections and from those failures. At first time when you attempt, you don't have experience. You don't even know how hard it is or how simple it is. But you see, the moment you attempt and you get rejected or the moment you attempt and you fail, you have tried, you know, you have experience, you know what you ne not to do next time. You know how to handle it next time. Be brave, be ready and tackle everything that comes your way. Do not fear to be rejected. Rejection is always a redirection and failure is always the beginning of a success.